Tonight, more than 50 children across the Dayton area will now have a bed of their own to rest their heads. It's all thanks to a Miami Valley woman who lost her life in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Two News reporter Aaliyah Williamson shows us how her legacy is what's working in the Miami Valley. The morning of September 11th, a moment of silence to remember nearly 3,000 lives lost in devastating terrorist attacks 20 years ago. One of those people lost was Christy Ryan, a graduate of the University of Dayton and founder of Secret Smiles in New York. So they identified families who needed beds, bedding, dishes, housewares in New York City and secretly uh, dropped them off at the people's house. Today, Christy's efforts continue in Dayton as local organizations partnered for the day to dream. Being able to provide over 8,000 children in our community with beds um, is a positive and shows how kind Christy was. As volunteers packed bed frames, mattresses, and other gifts, organizers shared how these donations would make a difference. Unfortunately, there are many kids who don't have their own bed, who sleep in different arrangements, and as a result of that, you know, they may suffer, they may be impaired in terms of their ability to learn, their ability to be sharp, you know, because they've got a good night's sleep. Kids need good sleep uh, in order to be able to learn. In the past, the families would be present for a grand reveal. This year, because of COVID concerns, plans are made to deliver the beds directly to doors. I do miss all the families and the children being here today, and I look forward to future events where we're all able to get together and have the beds all set up and, and deliver to the homes. The volunteers working to make sure all was delivered by bedtime. Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you.